transfemoral TAVR is often managed with general anesthesia. However, a simplified percutaneous approach using local anesthesia is the subject of a discussion in uh, Jack Cardiovascular Interventions, and it's on uh, feasibility and 30-day outcomes of exclusively local anesthesia and fluoroscopic guidance. And Dr. Crubier, who is a co-author of this paper, can you tell me a little bit about the study and what your, your approach is in this one? Well, actually, uh, just to start with, you know, we, uh, I have developed this technology of TAVI uh, 10 years ago for patients who could not sustain cardiac surgery, but also very often because of contraindication to general anesthesia. So it means that the first patients was done under local anesthesia, and all the uh, next patients who are all compassionate were done in my department under local anesthesia because of the risk uh, involved by general anesthesia. And it was working so well that we have been continuing all the time since the very first patients to do all the femoral approaches under local anesthesia and sedation without any general anesthesia because of the additional risk uh, that is um, involved by uh, putting the patients under general anesthesia and especially the lack of stability of the aortic pressure. So I think that it was quite important to publish the results of our series because uh, today uh, we have been doing probably more than 350 patients under local anesthesia. Uh, I have been trying to convince that uh, local anesthesia and sedation was a better strategy uh, for the patients, especially today that we have small sizes devices. Uh, and uh, you know that in Europe we are using the Sapien XT valve, uh, which is smaller than the uh, uh, Edward Sapien used in the United States. And uh, so I, would, I, I think that it was a real good time to share the experience of local anesthesia sedation uh, in, for, for the patients, especially in Europe. And, uh, well, the results are quite interesting because uh, we did compare uh, the, our results. You know, we have 150 patients, more or less, uh, done with local anesthesia and sedation alone, including all the patients with the Edward Sapien and cut down of the femoral artery. And uh, we did compare these results with the, gen the results generally obtained in the literature with patients undergoing the same procedure under general anesthesia, and we were absolutely unable to see any difference. So it means that you can absolutely safely apply uh, this uh, TAVI procedure using local anesthesia and more with the Sapien XT because now we are using the, the percutaneous approach and the uh, closing devices like uh, for example the ProStar XL10 French. It works beautifully well. The patient do not feel anything. Uh, of course we can have an anesthesiologist in the room because uh, it's important to uh, be able to control you know the, um, the hemodynamics and the, 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 the patient in general during the procedure but uh, we uh, general anesthesia is not use at all. Well, now, one of the big arguments uh, to uh, give general anesthesia instead of sedation in those patients is that many investigators want to uh, do the procedure under online transesophageal echocardiography. So if you place a probe for doing a TEE uh, during TAVI, then you need to give general anesthesia for patients because they cannot stay uh, more than one hour with the tube in the, in the throat, you know. Uh, but my personal feeling is that uh, uh, transesophageal echo uh, for the TAVI procedure is not that crucial at all. And uh, we can prove it in this paper because we have been never using transesophageal echo. And again, the results are absolutely similar to the results uh, generally observed in the literature. Actually, uh, when we say uh, conscious sedation, it means, of course, a very uh, uh, strict local anesthesia. So we, uh, uh, we are giving a lot of lidocaine, you know, just for the patient not to feel any pain. Uh, the, 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 uh, the drugs that we are, go uh, that we are giving includes a morphine-like uh, drug that, that we call in France nalbufin, nalbufin. And we also give midazolam, uh, which is a very known drug for uh, anti-stress. And uh, if you put all of that together, the patients feel absolutely no pain. Wow. And it could be some really helpful for the patient as well as for the doctor. Absolutely. You know, because of this uh, strategy, first of all, the patients um, uh, can be discharged after three days. In my department, they stay between 12 hours and 24 hours in intensive care units. Then they are transferred into the ward, and then they are discharged after sometimes two 
days or even three days without any problem. So I think for the patients, you know, it makes a big difference. Also, you know, uh, uh, we have many patients with pulmonary insufficiency. Uh, this is part of the uh, uh, risk factor, which is associated in the uh, contraindication of surgery. And of course, if you don't give general anesthesia, you don't have this problem of extubating, which can be uh, really uh, an issue for, for the patients. So all of that disappear, and uh, we are extremely satisfied. I must say that more and more, uh, we have been convincing a lot of teams in Europe uh, to use this strategy, uh, which is uh, uh, really excellent for uh, the investigator, the technique per se, and the patients. So please read the article, Jack, Cardiovascular Interventions, Cribier and colleagues. I'm Rick McGuire.